Yeah, and also, um, you know, some exciting youngsters. Uh, uh, I think I think probably uh, is it Jaden? Jaden Hendrickson yeah. would have been a little bit unlucky. I think he's playing some really good rugby with the Sharks. Um, uh, but otherwise, I mean, they've they've covered virtually every single player of talent. There's some wingers who've performed really well. Yeah. I think we can. Uh, um, is it uh, on the wing you had um, for the Bulls on Saturday? Stravino, 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 Stravino Jacobs, yeah. yeah. Who's, who's good. And Edward van der Merwe has been shooting the lights out. He's scoring some fantastic tries for for the, for the uh, Western Province or Stormers. I'm not sure what they're called in this competition. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but, the, uh, but he's, he's really been playing fantastically well. So it's not that he's unlucky because the guys who've been selected have deserved it. And we, we just have to look at Mapimpi's performance coming back from Japan. Jeez, it was good. Eh? I mean, it was staggering. I mean, he just got in, just, just dominated whenever he got the ball. He was quite extraordinary. Someone like Kortnos Kassan, who's not a, mm. you know, he's a decent defender. He just put him on his backside as though he wasn't there. It was quite extraordinary. So, I mean, if all our overseas players come back with that confidence and, and that motivation to do well, we're in a very good space. Comment on the back line? Yeah, look, the, the, the base of the majority of the guys are there. The Reiner is still there. He's playing group, very good rugby at the moment. Foff is on song. So the right guys, the Yankees, has formed up to a, a lot. Uh, very happy what I saw there. And I want to add what Nick said. Hendricks, I enjoyed a lot. I, I had the discussion with you before the time. You know, I said three weeks on the show, my island story, start a team on the island. He might be one of the guys I'd go for. Uh, so they've, they've got their reasons why the Sharks are not starting with him and the box starting with him. Start Maybe ahead of who, though, so yes. uh, Of who? Of Hendrickson. Hendrickson. Uh, no, you're talking no, about Hendrickson no, or... Oh, you're talking about... Ten, okay, yeah, I thought yes. you talking about... Okay, yes, and yeah, I'm talking yeah. about scrum over the Sharks. So that's a situation, you know, that, that's interesting to me. But uh, apart from that, uh, glad Specky says there, Speckman. He had good feet, playing well. Look, one thing with our box setup that you got the, the people must know, you need guys who's good under the eyeball, who's good in the aerial game, and who can play the... Like the you know, if ten is back with a fifteen, uh, play the pressure game on the defence as well on, on the flat line in front. So there's a lot of components with the way that Jog defends as well when he looks at, at at the wingers. He they don't enjoy guys that are they if they are suspect on the tackling side and defensive side. So when they pick as well, a lot of guys are much more inclined how they attack and how they mm. play. And Rossi looks at effort. A lot of effort. He would sit and watch a game. He wouldn't really watch a game. He's he the director of rugby. Is he coaching? Yeah, no, no, no. But he's involved still. Okay. He's, he's the yeah. director. He directs yeah. the, th the ship because he's the director. Owen. <laughs> so, uh, so he doesn't really look at things that other people look at. He'll look at, and then Jock, being so strong and strong personality, they, if you can't tackle and you're not physical and you do not certain things in the pressure game well, you, you will not be so much in the liking. All right, uh, let's just confirm the squad. Uh, the backline players uh, selected by Jacques Nienaber. Uh, it was on a Saturday evening. And I said Mornay Stain, Franz Stain as well, one of the players joining in. Um, Chelsea Colby's good to see him. Jesse Creel, some a pimp we've touched on him. Of course, he is all currently injured with the Sharks. And Wandy Sila S. Melani, the young man, is part of the setup. Your Pengle, uh, talk to me about that, uh, Shimmy. Uh, play for the Sharks, come from the Kings. Um, Four tries so far in the competition. Re reason? Have you seen anything special? Yeah, good, strong, uh, strong winger, big um, work rate. Look, uh, the thing is, there, the, 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 there's a lot. You know, there's Yao Pinkler, there's you know Stravino. We mentioned Madosh, Edwell, Madosh. So th there's a lot of wings. Well, Tambo's not there, so yeah. So he's he's the guys challenging. Yeah, yeah, but there's guys challenging. There's lots of uh, guys challenging there. But you know, he's played well. And what a story! I think with the Kings, um, yeah. the Kings fell apart. Got picked for the Sharks, now he's in the Springboks squad. But yeah, good, nice opportunity for him. But, you know, there's a lot of guys that, if you look at a ranking, probably ahead of him, but he'll certainly get his opportunity. There's that yeah. SA, I think, Invitational SA 15 yeah. game before that. Chances yeah, are he'll, he'll get a run there. Yeah, okay. But yeah. the guy who must feel sorry at this stage in this whole setup on form and what he did for for, for the Stormers is Edo van der Merwe. Yeah. yeah he's Definitely. He's, the, he's, he's, for me, a guy that with that can wonder, I must have been very close. But, oh. they'll, uh, but they'll look at him. But, they'll, yeah. they'll, 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 there is a backup squad as well. He'll be there. Yeah. But so, you see, I, I, I just think also because of this, you know, there, there's always, you know, there's guys outside the squad that are pushing. But the guys that are selected now in the pound seat, you know, yeah. you, you're going to get an opportunity. Mm. You're in the pound seat as long as you realize that. But there are guys that are waiting. So if you get that opportunity and you don't perform at this level, mm. there are guys waiting that will be playing well, carry cup and all of that. So, you, you know, it's pound seat. There'll be another squad selected. I think then win the go on rugby championship and you know as long as these guys realize that 
that you know everything's going to be based mm. on performance. And yeah. the fact that we've got guys outside that we're debating mm. is actually a good thing for South Africa. Maybe awesome. that there's so many talented players that are still outside the squad. So uh, an area of concern for me is would be the tens. And the reason I say this is because they're very, very different, all three of them. You have, uh, in Pollard, he's been injured a lot. Uh, we know what he can give when he's, he's an outstanding uh, player in the Jacques, in the, uh, Jacques Ninaba uh, strategy. He takes the ball flat. He's very physical. He's got a very good goal-kicking record. At the World Cup, he was outstanding. Um, and he's a, he's a real presence. Uh, but, but he had a, a bad injury. And he's, and he's, like Marcel could see, he's just coming back into form. You've got Elton Yankees playing overseas. Very different style of player. Elton is a guy who uh, can attack the game line. He's got a very educated boot, left and right foot, but he's, he's, uh, he plays best at the high field when he's on the front foot. That's, he's not, uh, we remember a game he played at Newlands uh, in, in the wet and against it really, England. yeah, against England, Good and he test. really, he really battled that day. And uh, it's, it's just, it doesn't suit his game of rugby. Then you have Mornay, uh, uh, given all his experience, uh, but we had a game where we saw uh, Western Province play the Bulls over the weekend. They had 71% possession. And, um, and the tries were scored with three, three driving malls or four driving malls and a pick and go two yards from the line. And with all that possession, he couldn't get that back line to operate because he plays deep. And that's, you get certain fly-offs who, who need to get into, the, into your face on attack. And that's what Pollard does well. So you've got the kicking guy, really purely kicking guy in Stain. You've got a bit of a mix in, in, um, in Pollard, attack and, 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 and kicking game, and physicality. And then you've got uh, Elton, who's an attacking player uh, with an attacking kicking game, but perhaps not quite as good defensively or as physical. So they're very different. It's not as though if one yeah. plays, it's going to be a different type of conductor of the bus. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, when I think when Rusty first took over, Elton was on the bench. I think you were there, Swayze. Mm. But we seem to score more tries when Elton, whether we're chasing the game or when Elton moved to 10 and, to Pollard, 10 and Pollard moved to 12, yeah. we got a bit more width and attack. And it, it worked well when we're chasing a game. Obviously, if we go with a 6 2 split now, yeah. then the front stain factor comes in and then yeah. a scrum off on the bench, you know. So then, you know, is front stain the guy if there's an injury in the first minute of a test, does he move over to, 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 10. Um, to 10, you know? Yeah. And that's another thing we've got to start off start looking at and chances are we go with that 6-2 split then it's, it's only one two backs then on your the scrum off's got to be on a play wing as well so yeah exactly you're, you're, yeah. Looking at, uh, you're looking at a Reinach or someone like that mm -hmm. or uh, because if you have uh, uh, Herschel Yankees yeah, on the yeah. bench which we've had it's quite difficult for him to I play wonder, wing. I yeah. wonder this, this weekend on Nick's point with Mornay Stein playing a bit of no man's land what he did this weekend was catch and before he even gave the next step, it was he, he played to 12 straight away. Mm -hmm. It might be that they're working on to give Hendricks a bit more time. But what did happen, he wasn't off in the face no. on flat or deep enough. And, and, and with, with Ivan's great service that he had this weekend, what I did pick up a bit of a concern, he didn't run before nine at the ball. He was almost reacting after after picked it up. And I... Uh, I, I saw the, uh, a few nice clips on that specific. Are, are these worries that you have about the no, way, I mean, no. Mornay's playing? No? No, i tell you why no. Okay. Because the, the, the few games before that, he was much better with that. He was more direct when he had to, and he played that one try they scored with a three-man overlap Jacobs. He was mm. playing beautifully around them. So maybe it's just a little system they tried. I think they were thinking in this game, let's keep possession, 71%. Mm. If we kick, they're very good on the counter-attack. Let's nullify all the counter-attack options. Let's rather keep the ball. Kick it out when the penalty is there. They got 11 penalties yeah. the first half. Suffocate them and play that game. But there was a few chances that they could have capitalized. That's how a beautiful game works. And then let's give credit to the Stormers. With 29% possession, guys, and scrappy ball all day to score those four tries, Nick. That is flipping fantastic. And 